Christmas is often a time of gatherings and celebrations, but even during the festive season, nearly two thirds of young people say they feel lonely and left out. That's according to new research from Headspace. And while many usually feel excited around this time of year, it can be a trigger of disconnect for others. Joining me live is Headspace CEO, Jason Trethewin. Jason, this is quite sad, isn't it? Particularly around this time of year. Tell us about the National Youth Mental Health Survey. Are feelings of loneliness in young people on the rise? It's on the rise, Kenny, but it's also been around for quite some time. It's a major public health issue for all, for all people of all ages, but certainly for young people, particularly we notice those young people going through transitions in life. And if we reflect back to days of uh, leaving school um, into the unknown world of work or study or or young rural people heading to the city um, where perhaps they're, they're feeling somewhat isolated. They feel a little bit left out, but right now, uh, loneliness is a major factor impacting on the mental health and wellbeing of young Australians. Mm. You, you mentioned a couple of examples there that young people go through, but the pandemic was uh, responsible for a lot of isolation as well. But now that that is over, what are the main causes of loneliness in young people? Well, I think the impacts of COVID have certainly are going to be around for some time. We know that the lockdowns played a massive role in young people, even coming back to school. We talk to school principals and you know that school refusal is big. We we know that that social engagement, um, some of the social skills have been lost, but, but also this time of year, Christmas, we're bombarded with uh, messages and images of people getting together, celebrations, happiness. And in fact, what happens for many people and young people in particular is that they compare themselves to, to those that they see through their screens and perhaps feel a little bit left out, not, not so worthy. Um, and what we really do worry about, Kenny, is the fact that if you're experiencing loneliness and you're not getting on top of it, it can lead to issues like anxiety and depression. And of course, part of our role at Headspace is certainly to prevent those, uh, those signs and symptoms. But importantly for young people, reaching out, connecting with family and friends, uh, getting a hobby, uh, doing something you love and doing it often is certainly things that we certainly encourage young people to, to do. I'm just looking at the survey here that was taken by 3,107 young people aged 12 to 25 from every state and territory. And it also says that young people are more likely to feel greater feelings of isolation from others, young women rather, 62%, compared to young men, 53%. Why are women reporting greater feelings of isolation than men? Yeah, look, it's a it's an interesting one. I think one of the things that we would say on that is that it's the comparability through social media. Um, now, social media, as we know, has been fantastic for connecting and communicating, messaging, but it's it's uh, it's that comparability um, of people of other people's lives in terms of how happy they may be looking, how involved they are with parties and other functions and, and all, all the sorts of gatherings. So females perhaps are more aware of um, of their feelings and more so than more so than young men. So I think that's one of the main contributing factors. We know we know social media has many positive elements to it, uh, but we also know there's many downsides as well. Well if anyone is feeling isolated this Christmas, what advice would you give them? Well, I think it's, first of all, it's about connection. Our, our overriding message to young people and to those around young people is to is to find ways to connect, not only just individually to, to you know, one, two or three people, but uh, finding things you enjoy doing, uh, hobbies. Um, volunteering in Australia is, is, is an amazing thing to be able to do. And, and young people who do that, they find connection, purpose, meaning, um, doing something you love and doing it often is what we would really encourage. But for, for parents out there, for families worried about young people, ask the question, uh, don't judge, just try and find pathways for them to, to look to do something that they're going to enjoy um, and, and keep, keep trying. Some important advice. Jason Trethewin, thanks so much for your time. Good on you, Kenny. Thanks, Mike. Cheers.